In section 2.6, you will draw scatter plots and write equations of best fitting lines. A scatter plot is a graph used to tell if there is a relationship between paired data. If a best fitting line through the data is indicated, then the data has correlation. Data has positive correlation if y tends to increase as x increases. So data with positive correlation might look like this on the coordinate plane. Where all the data points seem to rise from left to right and they are close to some best fitting line through that data that rises from left to right. Data has negative correlation if y tends to decrease as x increases. So a graph representing data with a, a negative correlation might look like this. Where the line through the data, the best fitting line, slants downward from left to right. And data has no correlation if the data show no linear pattern. So we can represent that too graphically where the points are just too scattered in the scatter plot to indicate any sort of best fitting line. A correlation coefficient denoted by R is a number from negative one to one that measures how well a line fits set of data pairs x, y. <clears throat> if r is near 1, the points lie close to a line with positive slope. So again, we can represent that graphically, where all of the data pieces are close to some best fitting line that rises from left to right. We say that the correlation coefficient, or r, is equal to 1. But if that data is loosely representing a line that slants upward from left to right, then we might say that the correlation coefficient r is equal to 0.5. If r is near negative 1, the points lie close to a line with negative slope. So again, if that data is tight and near a line that slants downward from left to right, we say that its R value is equal to negative 1. But if that data is loosely representing a line that slants downward from left to right, then we say its correlation coefficient R is equal to negative .5, or close to negative 0.5. If R is near 0, the points do not lie close to any line. So again, we have that data with no best fitting line indicated and no correlation indicated. Writing an equation of a best fitting line involves these steps. One, make a scatter plot and decide on correlation. Two, draw a best fitting line and choose two points on the line. Those two points do not have to be data points. In step three, we want to write an equation using the two points that we chose on the line. And in step four, check to see that the equation is reasonable. So in this example, the table gives the systolic blood pressure y of patients x years old. We're supposed to approximate the best fitting line for the data. So we first want to graph this data on the coordinate plane. And since everything's positive, we only need a, a first quadrant. We'll label the x-axis and the y-axis. And we'll decide on our uh, labels on our axes. 
um, we need to go, x values need to go from 43 to 70, so let's go 20, 40, 60, and 80 along the x-axis. And y values need to go from uh, 128 to 152. So if we just make a, a little zigzag like this, we can say that we're um, uh, leaving out some values from 0 to uh, 120. Let's start at 120 and go 130, 140. Remember, we want equally spaced uh, units along our axes. Okay, and then graphing the first point, 43, 128, we're about right here. And then our second point, 48, 120. 48, 120 would be about here. 56, 135. 56, 135 here. And 61, 143. 61, 143. Approximate that position. And 67, 141, 67, 141, and the last one, 70, 152, 70, 152, would be about here. Okay, so there's our scatter plot, and now we want to draw a best fitting line. When we draw our best fitting lines, we want our best fitting line to go through our data so that some points are above, some points are below, and some points might even lie on our best fitting line. Now we want to choose two points on that line that we can use to uh, write an equation. And we, we generally choose uh, points that are easy to work with. So I'm going to choose 40, 120 as one of my points on my best fitting line. And then I'm also going to uh, choose <clears throat> 50, 130. Okay, and now to write an equation of a line that travels through those two points, we'd first find a slope, because we're going to need a slope to write the equation of a line. So I'll take a difference in y coordinates over a difference in x coordinates. And simplify. So I'm getting 10 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator, which has a value of 1. So we have a slope of 1. And <clears throat> now we can choose either point that we're working with and that slope to write our equation in first point slope form. y take away y sub 1 is equal to the slope times x take away x sub 1. So I'll substitute in for y sub 1, 120. In for the slope, 1 and in for x sub 1, 40. Okay, and now uh, distributing on the right, this is, should be y minus 120. Okay, and distributing on the right, we get x minus 40. And then we're adding 120 from the other side. So in slope-intercept form, our equation is y equals x plus more positives than negatives plus 80. And now we want to check to uh, see that our equation is reasonable, but we can see that um, we will 
uh, have a slope that's positive rising uh, from left to right and a y-intercept of 80. It's tough to see what the y-intercept will be, being we had to skip um, some units here from 0 to 120. But the equation seems reasonable, so this is our equation of the best fitting line that represents that data. Including your notes of this video, guided practice problems 1 through 3, and 4A and B found on pages 114 and 117 of your textbook.